Happy Tour Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back. So happy to see you. Um, we, oof, um, it's only been a couple weeks since I saw you last because this is a special edition of Tour Tuesday. Um, we will be talking about three trips um, that I know you're excited to hear about because you were all here um, early and on time um, waiting for this presentation. So um, I'm super excited to take you through all of these programs. And we've got lots of star staff here today to join us. Um, we've got Chris Corcos and Sandy Gallucci from the office. And those two are your cruise and fly experts. Wave guys. Where are they? Where's, oh, where, uh, let's see. Oh, there they are. Sandy's in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. And you guys can see Chris with her blue background. Um, and then we've got some tour directors here. Um, I saw Kathy Gillespie. Yeah, there she is. Karen Coat. Hello. Um, so it's good to have you guys here. And allow me, oh, and I see Angie Belmont has just joined as well. So um, we've got three tour directors here. Hi, Angie. I just introduced you while you were joining. Um, we, um, as I said, this is a special edition of Tour Tuesday, and I'm so thankful that you have come to join us. And because you knew about this means you pay attention. And I love that because we scheduled this after our whole schedule came out. And um, let's see, Francina, who you're going to meet in a second, came to our office. And Chris and Sandy and I were talking about all these wonderful programs. And we picked three great programs. And then Francina offered to come and talk to you guys about it. So that's what we're here to do today. So I would like to introduce from the Globus family of brands and Avalon Waterways, Francina Mason. There Hi, everyone. Is. How are you? <laughs> um, nice this is her you. debut on Tour Tuesday. So we're so happy to have her here. Um, and I know she's thrilled to meet all of you. Um, Francina is in charge of lots of states <laughs> when it comes to Globus and Avalon, and New Jersey is one of them. So we are lucky to have her as our business development manager, and we are lucky to have her tonight. And um, well, you know, what do you think? Are you nervous, Francina? No, I'm fine. Okay, good. Oh, good. Awesome. Well, Everybody, this is a casual yes. setting, as you all yeah, know, Very casual, um, and lovely. we are here to go through three wonderful trips. So um, oh, I always forget to introduce myself. I'm Sandy Borowski, uh, <laughs> owner of Star Tours, and I'm here as the um, person who runs our tour division every day, 24 seven. And, um, I've, I've worked with our, um, our wonderful staff, Sandy and Chris, um, uh, to put these trips together, um, via Francina. So that's why we're all here sharing these trips with you. So without further ado, I will, um, move over to our slides that you guys are so used to seeing. And here you can see, we're talking about um, Paris, Normandy, and Chateau Country, Tulip Time, Rhine River Cruise in Holland and Bel Belgium. This is our first river cruise, and we're so excited to offer this program. And Costa Rica Nat Natural Wonders. Um, boy, Costa Rica is an up-and-coming um, destination, and, and we wanted to offer that to you. So we're going to first start um, with Paris, Normandy, and Chateau Country. Why? because it's a great tour. And you know what? The Olympics are coming and everyone's talking about Paris and it's all over the news. And um, I think that this is a great tour to start off with. Um, the departure date is October 10th through 19th. Well, the departure date is October 10th. It comes back on the 19th. Of course, uh, the 10th is an overnight flight because when we go to Europe, we fly overnight. Um, we'll have breakfast each day and four dinners. And you can see the rate um, is there, $54.99 per person based on two people in a room, $62.99 per person based on single occupancy. Those single occupancy rooms are limited, keep in mind. Um, if you are interested in traveling solo, um, book soon, because those rooms do sell out. Um, and note that those prices do include airfare. So 
Um, that is your, your price in full. There's no additional taxes, fees. Um, that The price is the price there. So, um, and of course you see the picture of the beautiful Eiffel Tower. And I am going to turn this over to Francina who will um, take us through the, the itinerary of this tour. Great, I'm so excited. I was in Paris about six months ago. So just before the rush and the hustle and you should see the Eiffel Tower, they have the Olympic sign is all set. It's unfortunate that I wouldn't be able to make it, but it's going to be so crowded in Paris. So day one, you board your trans, uh, trans transatlantic overnight flight to Paris. Woohoo! Bonjour. Welcome to Paris at 5 p.m. Meet your tour director who works for Globus. Our tour directors have worked for our companies like 10 plus years, maybe 20 years. Remember, you will have a bus driver and a tour director. Your tour director is your key person. That's the one that's going to help you with anything, all your wants and your needs. I won't be there. Sandy won't be there. She will have somebody else there, I'm sure. But I just want to let you know, the tour director is the way to go. Um, you and your travel companion will meet your tour director. Make sure you know their number. Take a picture of them, the whole 10 yards, and then you'll have a welcome drink. <laughs> so we'll go good. on. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Day three in Paris. Oh my gosh, I'm getting excited already. Love, love this area too. Followed by a guided sightseeing tour that features the Art de Triomphe. That's what, you know, Napoleon built this and he never even got to see it. He died before he finished it, which was terrible. Very sad, I must say, because when you see it, it's so breathtaking and it's so large. You can go up in it too, as well. And then the Champs-Élysées to go shopping. It's amazing. I love the Champs-Élysées. Walk down it for miles and miles and miles. It was so much fun. Absolutely. I'm getting so excited. And then, of course, the courtyard, the Les Indigos, which is the area where you will see um, back in the day when they had military people that were hurt. They put them in this particular location, which I think is really nice, but it's a beautiful area to go and visit and see it and the architectural aspect of it. And last but not least, my favorite, the Eiffel Tower, having dinner there. I didn't even get to do that, Chris. I think that's great that you added that in. I'm going to have to go on this tour just so I can go back and, and eat at the Eiffel Tower, which is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Day four. Let's see. So day four, you're going to get on your bus, Paris, Gurney, Rouen, and Duvel. So Gurney, visit the home and the gardens of Monet. You know Monet. This is where he got his fabulous inspiration to do those amazing paintings. You wander through the gardens, which inspired him to paint and paint, you know, those fabulous paintings that he does. Monet is really interesting. I mean, I absolutely love him. And I have a few of his paintings. They're not real, though. They're fake. But <laughs> <laughs> I would love to own one. And then in Rouen, you go to the Orient Walk, free time, have lunch. And then afterwards, Duval, free time to walk along the promenade des planches which is absolutely fabulous so you do get some free time we want you to have free time and we want you to definitely see the sights day five yes we're moving along right we keep you busy you're on the go and want to tell you about our our coach buses too you know they're air conditioning they have wi-fi they have a bathroom. We do stop, though. Make sure that you do go to the bathroom so that if you want to see some sights and things of that, this would be your best bet. Um, you walk to the footsteps of Normandy. This is so overwhelming when you get down here to Normandy. I was just so like, wow, how they came on the beaches. And, you know, they're here. It, it, it's just overwhelming. It was it was really sad, too, because a lot of people were killed during World War II, and especially on the Normandy Beach. So you visit the Point de Hoc and then the Omaha Beach. And then after that, you go to the American Cemetery, and then you see the Monument des Braves. After that, you will go to the Mulberry Harbor remains, and... That's an all-day trip, too, so 
make sure you have comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes, and you're out. In October, it's really nice. So that's a good time. If you went in the summertime, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's very hot. So that's a perfect time, I have to say, to go to Paris. Absolutely. Again, day six, enjoy a guided visit at the Abbey. This is a really interesting castle that Napoleon took and anybody that came in this area, he would lock them up in the castle. So all of the people that, you know, Napoleon captured, he would take them and lock them into this castle here. What better place, right? No, <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be locked away, but look at it. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's an island and Normandy, the way it's set up. Um, this tour is just incredible. Again, it's just you're thinking of all, you're thinking of Napoleon, you're thinking of um, Normandy, you're thinking of this castle. I can't wait to just take pictures in front of it. And again, Napoleon closed the abbey, the way that it sits on this, this mountain here. It's just really incredible. So you can see how it was a great fortress as well. So a lot of people couldn't really attack you. But I'm like, how did you get out? You'd have to jump, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but it's it's definitely amazing to take a picture here and to see it and to go back in time. And uh, it's just incredible. So definitely a place that I would <laughs> highly recommend for you to see. Next day, please. Day seven, Mont Saint-Michel. Love this area, the Laurel Valley. You see the medieval castle. And you think of the knights in shining armor, and it's such a scenic drive en route to the Lori Valley. The historic, I would say, tapestries, the um, timbered houses that you see also. It's like a little village, like back in history, when you take a look at it. You're like, do these people have air conditioning in these buildings? <laughs> they do. I, I don't know where, but <laughs> you take all of this and much more while you're wandering this charming cobblestones or you're walking along the banks of the main river. So these are two amazing sites as well. And I think the castle was the thing that just really blew me away. Um, but definitely, you know, a must see for sure. Let's go on to day eight. This is the best part. The French wine, my favorite. You know, France is known for their wine, their cheese, their bread, and their food, but mostly their wine. You can see the French wine um, along with the, the Laurel River Valley again, where many castles land the landscape. So you'll see a lot of castles, right? Hear about the history of the region with more than 55,000 places and vineyards in France's largest vineyards with an annual turnover of 320 million bottles of wines that sold. And they I'm have thirsty so just thinking about that. I know, right? Can <laughs> you imagine? 320 million <laughs> bottles of wine. But the castle, you're drinking wine, you're at the castle, you feel like you're an aircraster, you're just um, having a beautiful time. So that's one of the things that I totally enjoy about the Laura Valley um, is definitely the chateaus and the country and the wine. And the people are really, really nice in this area, too. I thought all the French were lovely. I really did. They were very, very um, accommodating and just very nice. They do like to speak French. But again, your tour director who is with you will help you through all of that and will give you more and more um, information as well uh, when you're on this tour. Next, Chris. Yes, day nine, my favorite. You're back in Paris. <laughs> I did this river cruise. The food was amazing. Going down the river and the Eiffel Tower at night, it lights up. And then so you're seeing it spin around and it's lit up and you're sailing down the same river. It was so amazing. I really enjoyed it. I want to go back. The river cruise alone was just so exciting and just really um, was amazing. We have a river cruise that goes to Normandy also. Just threw that in there for maybe the next trip. <laughs> <laughs> but France, then with dinner, the food, um, you, you're you going down the Seine. You even go by Notre Dame. 
they take you to that area, which is not open right now, but they do take you um, through that Notre Dame area, which is kind of nice while you're on the cruise. But definitely, it just really adds a great farewell dinner cruise. Why not? to offer and you have the french fair with wine and bon appetit it was amazing i love that that was probably one of the best things that i liked about the trip also was going down the same river and i'm so glad that that's being part of this package too and then day 10 after breakfast transfers to the airport for your transatlantic flight home boo hoo <laughs> i know right because there's so much going on and and i know i'm putting it all together like in a minute <laughs> but really when you're on the go a lot you're seeing so many things you're taking pictures and France what better place absolutely amazing I, I love it I love I love it I think it's definitely a place that every one of you should go probably not within the next few weeks <laughs> <laughs> too crowded too crowded yes definitely but I love the Eiffel Tower too that's so exciting absolutely well, Paris you. Normandy and the Chateau country yes that's Oh, yes. definitely. It's going to be you, amazing. You see everything here. Um, the beaches of Normandy, Chateau Country. Um, I also wanted to point out a couple things. So because this trip is more than a year in advance, we cannot get airfare um, confirmed. So we have estimated the airfare. So these rates here are um, using our crystal ball for a uh, the airfare rate. If the airfare comes in lower, we will lower the price. If the airfare comes in higher, we will raise the price. Um, so just so that you all know that, and if the airfare is what we budgeted, we'll leave the price the same. So we'll let you know either way, if the airfare does come in higher and you choose to not go, that's okay. We would refund you the deposit that you made. I just want to let everybody know that it's better to get your deposit in now, understanding this is probably going to be the price or pretty close to the price. Um, and then if the price is lower, great. We know you're still going. You get money back. That's great. If the price is the same, you're still going. Um, if the price is higher, then we'll, we'll tell you, oh, the price has gone up. I'm making it up $100. Do you still want to go? So you're not locked in. And then another thing I wanted to point out is um, we will likely not have a star tour director on this trip. Um, so you will you will be on your own. We will take you, of course, um, to the airport and we will make sure you get on, you know, get um, checked in. Uh, but that's as far as we will go. And then um, once you land in uh, Paris, uh, we'll give you instructions to meet your transfers and we'll take all you know good care of you. Um, until you meet up with the Globus tour director. Right. And then same thing upon the return, you'll be dropped off at the airport and then on your own to fly back to the States. And um, and then once once you arrive, we'll pick you up in a star in a star bus. So um, that's how that works. Does anybody have any um, questions about this trip specifically? Paris, Normandy, and Chateau Country. Great. Um, if you if you want to see more details and you want to learn about it, of course, you can refer back to this Tour Tuesday presentation, which we will have um, a link to. Um, but you also are more than ha uh, welcome to visit our website, uh, startours.com, and search for Paris. And this trip will come up so you can go through um, and see the itinerary. You'll be able to see the hotels um, and any hopefully any other details that, that you feel might be missing. All right, so with that, um, we going. are going to talk about a river cruise. Yes, yeah. Tulip yes. time, yay. So this is our first river cruise and we're so excited. We know that our clients have been trying out river cruises over the past few years. And um, we've had a lot of requests um, for river cruises and um, we have partnered with Globus Family of Brands, which um, owns Avalon Waterways. And um, we we feel working with Francina, she really steered us into what we think is going to be a fabulous itinerary. Um, it's early, it's in April. 
Um, and um, really the highlight is, is going to be this, you know, this Tulip Time Festival that's happening. So it departs April 5th. Um, of course, it's an overnight flight on the 5th. Um, the cruise will sail the 6th. So when you um, arrive, you'll make your way over um, to the river cruise and um, you'll come back home on the 13th. Um, here are the rates. Um, let's see, Chris, I believe those are, um, we do have airfare confirmed. So it, those will likely be your rates. Um, and like Francine, you know, before you talk us through this, you know, tell us about river cruising in general. Um, you know, for those of us who are not familiar with river cruising, I certainly have never done it. Um, I know a lot of people that have, and I know they've been just so impressed and, and lots of people love it. Um, tell us about it and what we can expect. Where do I begin? Um, you're going <laughs> down you the speechless? Rhine. Well, you're going to Holland, first of all, and it's tulip time. So that's what's kind of cool, too. I mean, you're there when these beautiful tulips are just blossoming all over. But getting on the ship, the ship, it's it's yeah, it's like you there, only yeah. you pack one time and unpack which is great you meet the whole team the crew is 37 people the length of the ship is 361 feet you can see how large it is and for those people who think that they get seasick you don't even feel that here because you're on a river so it's not like you're doing waves or things of that nature. Um, the suites, we have 52, which are the panorama suites, which are what we're famous for. In fact, all the other guys are trying to, you know, say that they started it. But really, Avalon really started these suites that are panorama and they're 200 square feet. The doors open right up. What we did was we built the actual balconies right into the room to give you more room, more space. Because how many people really sat out on those little balconies? This way you can, the bed faces out, looking at all the different sites that you're seeing as you're, as you're going down those rivers into the different ports. So it's almost like what's outside is right in your room, which I think is amazing. But one of the things that really impressed me was the food and the staff. Um, you have a cruise director here, which is awesome. Whereas on the tour, you had a tour director. Um, when I was in Tulip Time in, in Amsterdam, the cruise director, Hendrik, had worked for us for 30 years. So he knew everything. And he lived in Amsterdam, too, which is great. So our cruise directors, they know everything from soup to nuts. Again, those are the people that you want to meet. Those are the people that you want to know. We also have um, a hotel manager because it's like, you know, the, the state rooms are considered hotel rooms, but they're called state rooms. So you do have a manager that also manages everybody and their rooms. Um, so that's definitely something that I could definitely tell you is amazing. What, a, what other thing is great? Great way to go to the different ports and see where you may want to go back another time, which is kind of cool too. And you kind of go at a nice pace. You're not in a rush. You kind of are taking your time. You have more time in these different ports as well. Um, and these they, they pretty much sail at night too. Some of them during the day, it depends on what's going on and what you're seeing. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. It's open air balcony. I was telling you about the 200 square foot for the Panorama Suites, and that gives you more than 30% larger than the industry standard. And I think that that's really great. So let's go check out um, some more things of this. Also, look at the rooms right there. When you're sitting in the lounge, you're looking out all of the, um, you can see the view there, you're looking right out. So it's a lot of view. So you're sitting, you're having your cocktail, you're looking out at the different sites, you're relaxing. And that's the other thing. Look at it, it looks very relaxful, right? It doesn't look so overstated, like you don't want to touch anything. You feel like you're in your living room. You have complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the ship. We have a fitness center on board. I told you about those panorama windows throughout the whole ship. We have elegant contemporary design and decor, friendly, elegant decor. 
which is really super important because you don't you don't feel like you don't want to touch anything, right? You want to feel at home. You have a sky deck with a whirlpool. Some ships have a pool, but mostly all of our ships have a whirlpool. They have shade. They have shade up there too. So if, you know, thinking about being outside, you can see at the bottom area there, you can sit out, you can relax, you can eat upstairs as well. We have a club lounge with 24 our service, which is also on the ship with beverage stations, with complimentary. This was big. The cappuccino, the lattes, the tea, the hot chocolate, all complimentary. People were at these machines all over. There was two or three of them. There's one in the dining room. There's one on the second level here in um, the promenade area. And then there's one up on um, in the back for the 24-hour self-service beverage station um, area as well. You have coffee, there's an elevator. So if someone needs, you know, there's only three levels. You have the two levels of the panorama and then you have your um, lower level, which is our swan rooms. That's what we call them. <laughs> you can see the swan swimming by. <laughs> and then we have um, non-smoking interior and state rooms. So we'll go on to that next slide so I can show you what I was talking about. Yeah, so that's the swan room there at the top. And then at the bottom is the panorama view suite that you would, that we took out the balcony. We just added it into the room, which made the room so much bigger. And you have the open air balcony, which is just really great as you're sailing down these rivers. Um, comfortable beds and mattresses. And we have Egyptian, Egyptian cotton and linens. That's super important. So you really feel like, oof, you're special. Right. And La Sultane, bath amenities, shampoo, conditioner, blow dryer. Um, that's all shampoo, conditioner. Oh, and his or her towels. Like the guys can get a darker towel than, than we can. We can get white. They can get a darker one. Then if you're traveling with somebody, this is my towel because I know because of the color. So you don't have to worry. I love that. It's such a simple thing. Yeah, but, know, but it when you're sense, traveling, right? you never yep. know which is yep. who's. <laughs> No, we have bathrobes. Like they, they have thought of everything here. They have bathrobes in the shower, glass door, wide selection of movie channels that are free, English, English, yes, individual climate control in your room, depending on you like it cold, hot. And of course, they have a big closet. I was really surprised. Mirrors. And of course, you put all the bags under your bed. So you unpack once, bags go under the bed. That's it. You don't see them again until you're leaving. And, and it's a really um, beautiful room that we have here with the decor. But we don't want you to stay in the room. Yeah. We want you to come <laughs> out. We want you to go day one, overnight flight to Amsterdam. Day two, you're in Amsterdam, Holland, and Frank, all those great things. The tulips. Look at that. I love it. The ship embarks at 5 o'clock p.m. So you need to be on that ship, okay? Your day in Amsterdam is a free to explore at your leisure. So you may want to go to different sites, uh, the Oriental Excursion, Kinkerhof Gardens, which is nice. Again, let's look at the gardens down there at the bottom with all the tulips and all the flowers and all of the different things that you're going to see. Um, and there, it's just breathtaking. It looks like that too. Doesn't that look like a picture? But that's really real. Um, <laughs> our first evening, We'll cruise overnight to Nembeck, which is good in the Netherlands. So a lot of the cruising is at night because we have the tours for you waiting when you get to the different locations. So the next day, day three in Nembeck, Holland, you do the wildlife, you do the um, war veteran, the uh, memorial to Volier, and then the famous mills. The windmills, those are, you know, you want to know where those are, right? And see them and take pictures and that's amazing too. And then we have the active excursions, the discovery excursions, and the classic excursions. So the beautiful landscape of the field, the blue water, you go out on a bike and you have a um, nature, you go to a nature reserve, or it depends on, you know, where your um, active um, guide will take you because they're on the ship too. They do yoga, they do all kinds of activities. All right. So you discover the excursions and the Discover ones are really good, too, because that's Nembeck, the oldest town in the Netherlands. And then you learn um, what was what was first built more than 2000 years ago um, by the Romans. You see a lot of the Roman era 
um, in the city. And that was also damaged in World War II because this area, they really, I didn't realize they really, the Germans were really in this area. Of course, the people from the Netherlands, they gave up. They're like, come on, forget it. We're not going to fight. <laughs> um, so that's why they have really that German feel too. But the Romans too, they were there too. Um, so then you have the classic excursion. It's also um, guided by a tour person. Um, you'll do the museum. And then if you're into museums, the Battle of um, Arnhem. I was, I'm not sure how you say that exactly, but I think it's Arnhem or Arnhem, something to that um, idea. So there's a lot of different things that you could do here, which is kind of cool too. So day four, yes, you're in the Dutch history school spirit. And what I like about this area, you can walk around, you can see the charm of this little town. Your adventure host will walk you and describe everything that is going on in this town. Um, the classic aspect to discover this vibrant university town, which is lovely cathedrals, old homes, Historical buildings you can see right here, cobblestones, town, town center, um, bring a lot of comfortable shoes <laughs> and comfortable clothes. That's super, super important. Then you get back on board and we have live entertainment. Yes, we do. So keep that in mind. There is live entertainment. One night we may have a little band. One night we may have a DJ, but there's always something on board in the evening, at least to keep you busy. By the time you take these tours, you're exhausted. <laughs> we also have happy hour too. And we serve beer and wine with every dinner. So you keep that in mind. Beer and wine, happy hours from um, six to seven. And then you have dinner, you have lunch too, that if you come back to the ship that you can also have beer and wine. And then um, in the morning breakfast, if you wanna have, I don't know, mimosa. <laughs> that's complimentary too. But these are some of the other tours that we have, active excursion, um, classic excursion. So they're all gonna be guided sightseeing tours and it will, you'll go to the old town, you'll go to the cathedral. The architect here is just impressive. Look at it. When you're looking at the last slide down here and even the turtle with the mermaid on it, that's beautiful too. But that's one thing about the Netherlands. They really are into their architectural um, features and the midi medieval architect. You take free time to stroll along Norman's cobblestone lanes and visit the charming cafes and the bookshops. That's definitely um, a must do for sure. But Holland is incredible, really is. And of course, what would it be if you went to Holland and didn't have those Belgian waffles those were everywhere i mean they everywhere i went they were offering you those because that's what they really push not just the cheese these waffles were so good you can do them with chocolate they do them with honey historic wonders of the wonderful waffle <laughs> and they really really talk about the waffle a lot join a guided sightseeing tour of the fairy city look at this fairy city this is absolutely lee in belgium Ugh. Just beautiful. I mean, particularly when you look at it, they look like little buildings all over there. It doesn't even look real. So you don't miss sampling authentic sweet waffles because they have them everywhere. And they import them too back into Holland. So day seven, Antwerp, Belgium, which is absolutely, again, cathedrals. Um, there's so much here to explore and see. Look at the statues. Look at the church here. So you can do active excursion, explore with bikes all over, or you can do take a guided tour, and then they really will give you the really overview of this particular town with the cathedrals of Our Lady, um, the painting of Rubens, and later you enjoy dinner and live entertainment again. So there's a lot of different things to see here. And if you are definitely a person that is into history and into cathedrals and into just learning about, you know, Belgium, this is definitely the trip that you want to take. Going to go next. So day eight is Brussels. Um ancient landmark and new hunts, which is one of the places that's good. 
active excursion, you see Brussels again, you do a bike tour, um, discover excursions, you see the major highlights of Brussels, and then you you join do-it-yourself chocolate workshop. You have to go to Belgium and you have to have chocolate and you have to make it because then you can bring it home with you too. But you can tell everybody that I made chocolate when I was in Belgium. That's what Belgium's known for. They're chocolate, 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 right? And then you have a classic excursion. Again, you do have a guided tour of Brussels. You see the town, the landmarks, the buildings. Um, and then the afternoon is free to explore Br Brussels at your pace, which I love too, because there's a lot of moving around. This is a very, very interesting place to really um, see Brussels and we overnight there too. So you don't have to rush back to um, the ship unless you want to, you know, eat dinner again, <laughs> have dinner. We do have dinner every night. And you know what, every, every port that we go to farm to table. So if we go to a specific port, we may order you know, the food from that particular area and the wine, the wine always changes also. So keep that in mind. Of course, all you disembark from the ship, Brussels, Belgium, what would it be, what would it be if you're having a croissant with chocolate in it? <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That's what Belgium's all known for. Great oh. trip. Loved it. Didn't want to come home. Wanted to jump ship, stay oh. there. <laughs> it sounds fantastic. It sounds fantastic. Thank you so much, Francina. I've got the um the main slide up because I have some additional information for you. Um Francina is used to all this good stuff, but we're not so much. So no. But... Um on each day um on the cruise ship, on the river cruise, you will get one complimentary or included excursion. So yeah. you saw that there was the different excursion types. We had the adventure, the discovery, and the classic. Yeah. So, so you, you pick, pick what you want. You pick what you want. And it is included in your price. No additional cost. That's so correct. That's, that's key. That's a major difference from, you know, cruising with Carnival or NCL. This is, this is totally different. It's an included excursion. You also saw the size of the ship which is very different. So you're talking about uh, 3,000 people on a Carnival or NCL cruise ship, and this has 150 tops. 150. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So that's so, cool. so you, you know, with, sorry, it's actually 120-ish. So with almost 40 crew, you've got, you know, one to three crew member to um, guest ratio. Right. So the three levels, it's very intimate. It's lovely. It's um, much less. Uh, there's no mayhem that you might be used to on a big cruise ship, much more um, sophisticated in a lot of ways. Um, and also, unlike the other um, cruises that we offer, this price for the deluxe e cabin um, includes all of your port charges taxes and fees. So this is the price. It includes airfare, taxes, and fees. Okay. So um, some key differences to note, um, really wonderful stuff, especially with the beer and wine included. Um, yeah. the but meal. even the complimentary happy hour too, is actually yeah. drinks too, cocktails, not just beer and wine. It's, I mean, even if you don't drink, you may want to have one drink because it's free. No, but um, from <laughs> six to seven, you do have this happy hour and you have the beer and the wine and um, there's very little kids. I've never, I haven't run into any children. So you want to keep that in mind. I want to let you know that we have double beds and we only take two in a room. That's it. This isn't that type of ship either. You know, when you're on one of the big ones, they put in three and four in the room, not here. We have the singles yeah. or the doubles. When you That's... say double beds, you mean two twins put together? Yes, we have two twins in the room that we can so separate. It's can't, you know, a king so or two. Or... No, yeah, it's either a king we will queen, I would say they push it together and then when they separate it, it's it's um yeah, it's 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 double size, which is kind of nice. I mean, they were long and they were comfortable. Um mm -hmm. if you're traveling with a girlfriend, you know, or maybe one of your older children and they have double beds, which is great. So that's a good thing. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, um, so is there a pool on the ship, do you know? No, there isn't. This one is definitely um, the jacuzzi. 
that's what we Got have it. on this. Got yeah. it. Great. And the other thing that's different with these smaller ships, obviously it's river cruising, um, not ocean cruising. So, you know, it, it's much more calm, but the ports that you pull in are, are right in the city. They so are. you're yeah. really feeling like this is your, your, I don't even, obviously it's a floating hotel. It's truly a floating hotel. You unpack once and you're not out in the boonies. You're right in the thick of it. So yes. this is a really different kind of cruise than we're used to. Um, it's a river cruise. It's in Europe, obviously. Um, and you're getting off of the boat. You know, of course the boat is wonderful, but your time, uh, they they don't want you spending a lot of time in, in your state room, in no. your suite, because no, even, there's so much to see. There is, but at night, you know, after you come back, if you're just really tired and you want to order room service, that's free too. All right. But like I said, the food was great. The bistro area downstairs in the restaurant and it's a la carte. You don't really there is a menu you order off of. It's there is you can get up and get the salad and things like that. But it's really good food. Really is. I really recommend it highly. Yeah. Oh, I got to show you this this picture. I just love I and this is the oh. first one first time that they're offering this. Look at the panorama suite room. So it's so I don't nice. know if you can see the corner of this bed, but this bed is facing out, right? All of all so, of our rooms they face out except for that's the um, so cool. They've thought of yeah. everything, right? You're laying in bed looking outside at the river and all of the views on each side of the river. It's like the view is coming right into your room. Yeah. Which is that's just funny. amazing. Yeah. You have water in your room. You have um, there is a mini bar, but that would be an additional charge, just so you know. And again, like I was telling you, um, it's just classy. It's just really classy to be able to be on a river cruise and you get around so quickly, which I think is just really nice. Yeah. And you can just see, spend more time in the different ports too, which I love about this. The bikes are on, 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 the, on the boat too. So the bikes are there. You're going to do the biking. The kayaking would be an additional that we would go out and get, and have the kayaks at certain areas. So, and then if you're going to do the tours, the buses are there if you're going somewhere far, but definitely it's, it's pretty much all inclusive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was a question, is the ship and the excursions handicap accessible? I'm going to answer. And the answer yeah. is, is no, no, they just have an elevator. Yeah. And, and Europe, um, they don't, you know, they don't have the laws, the ADA laws, like, like we have in the U S. So I will not um, recommend this trip um, for somebody that, that needs a wheelchair yeah. that uses a yeah. wheelchair regularly. Yeah. Um, and there's a question, Chris may want to answer this one. How do we know um, if we get a balcony room or a window? Well, they're, they're all balconies except yes. for the 12, um, uh, you called them swan the rooms, room right? categories, the swan rooms, every <laughs> single room on the first and second floor, a panorama suite view room. So, and that's what we priced. Uh, and that's what she priced for this particular trip. So the, the one at the bottom that you were looking out and seeing the scenery and the bed is facing out. Those are the panorama suite rooms. Yeah. And that's yeah. what's included. So that's how, you know, you get it because it's, you know, yeah. first first serve if you want to get it as quickly as possible <laughs> <laughs> um and Love there's a know. question i i don't know um how to answer that lynn so you can um you can ask chris if you want or you can give us a call um is there time to go to the van gogh museum i i don't know that i can answer that specifically <laughs> you may have to forego an excursion if you want to do that on your own for yeah, sure. you could probably do it on your own, but you'd have to just figure out when and what, you know, what time and things yeah, like that yeah. and get back yeah. in time to make sure you make the ship. So any other question about um, this wonderful brand new river cruise that we're offering? Yeah, I begged them. I said, add this because I know you're going to sell it. You guys would love this. We're going to we're going to sell um, lots of it and you guys are going to love it so much. I will say we don't have a lot of space because, um, you know, the ships are just not that big, as you saw. Yeah, they're um, not. So if you're thinking about this, this is one that you're going to want to to book soon. Um, and there's a couple questions. I, I don't know if you'll be able to answer them. Um, is the luggage handling, um, provided? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. 
Okay, good. So that's good. Yeah, so well, I mean, you're going to bring it on board and then you leave it and they pick it up the uh, the um, staff on the ship. They'll bring it up on board for you and then they'll bring it to your room and then you're going to unpack and you put that bag under the bed and you don't see it again till you're leaving. So, but yes, baggage is not a problem here. Love it. And um, the, is this when we travel in, in April, um, how was the temperature when you went and was it rainy? A little bit, but you know what? You can't, it could be totally different than it was when I was there, but it could be really nice when you're there. It's nice though. It's nice. It doesn't rain all day. Yeah. It's not going to be super cold and it's not going to be super hot, but you may no, find the, rain from time. Yeah, you might. But again, I, I'd be a fortune teller if I could tell you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me borrow that crystal ball. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> All right. Two down, one to go. Great job so far. Uh, we're round at the bend. We are now going into uh, the warm temperature um, of Costa Rica. Um, and this, I, I just, I love a vacation like this Costa Rica, natural wonders. It's November 15th through 23rd, 2025. Um, it's a nine day trip. Uh, you can see lots of meals there, breakfast each morning, lunch, almost every day and five dinners, um, lots of dinners. These are the rates that are including, uh, airfare. Remember, this tour is more than 13 months out, which means we have used our crystal ball to determine what we think the airfare is going to be. So if the airfare is the same or close to what we projected, we would not have a, chain, a change of price. If the airfare comes in lower, we will lower the price um, and adjust your final payment. And if the rate comes in higher, we will adjust the price higher, but we will make sure that you are willing to pay it. And if you, for some reason, do not want to pay it and the price has gotten too high, then we would cancel and give you a full refund. We don't, we, that is not our desire. We, we hope that the airfare comes in right around what we plan for. Um, but it just, uh, I just want to say that uh, we're protecting ourselves if the price comes in a lot, a lot higher. Um, so everything is included in that, in that price. Again, the, uh, the star tour director will help you get to the airport and will help you get home from the airport. And then when you're in Costa Rica, you will utilize the services of a Globus tour director. So again, <laughs> tour directors are super knowledgeable. They are there to help you. Um, you know, welcome to San Jose. This is really different because I just went from Europe and now I'm in Costa Rica. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 80 degrees, hot and sunny, but beautiful. And it's a lot of eco-friendly Tortugo National Park. And you're doing, you're passing bananas, several banana plantations along the way. So you wonder where our bananas come from, hopefully from Costa Rica. Lady, you're cruising down Tortuga canals you know your guide who works for us or, or or this area they will help spot certain things like turtles and the minor birds and the monkeys are really popular here they're kind of like all over the place that's what people really talk about when they go to Costa Rica or the monkeys they may come down and hit you in the head and then run off <laughs> don't wear jewelry because they sometimes want to steal your jewelry <laughs> so the monkeys are just very um, interesting too and everything that you're going to see the turtles the cranes oh my goodness there's just so much if you're a nature person you definitely want to do this and after a leisure after leisure then you explore the jungle lodge until you meet your um then they're going to give you a nice um, overview of everything that you're going to see and what to expect, which is really great, right? So and it's an informative slideshow that they want to present to you because, you know, they're the experts and they just want you to be able to know what you're seeing, what you're doing, and what, what to prepare yourself. This trip, you can see everybody has on hats because you're out and comfortable clothes. And so, yeah. This is definitely nature's lover's paradise. Costa Rica is hot. People are going to Costa Rica left and right. They love it here. It's just so different. This is not just laying on the beach. This is definitely, you know, um, you have a local naturalist and that person 
is on the boat ride with you and followed by a guided stroll through the rainforest. So, you know, when you're in the rainforest, right, what do you have to bring? Some kind of rain gear because it probably will be raining with a hat, comfortable shoes, maybe some boots, those, those nice rain boots. <laughs> you may not want to pack them, I know, but you may need them, whatever you're comfortable in. But just keep in mind, you are going to be in the rainforest. And then you're going to go to these amazing eco ecological um, places. And they're going to have another presentation about that particular area or two as well. There's the alligator there and those little um, turtles. They're not that little, though. They look pretty big. <laughs> they have those turtles in the national park and the canal. So you definitely will see a lot of wildlife. Definitely. And then pineapples, pineapples, pineapples. Tartuga Arunel. A morning boat transfer begins for your journey. And you're going to be touring and seeing pineapples. Look at all that pineapple farms that are owned by local families. And you learn about the history, the culture, and the industry of the pineapples and the other crops that they have there. And then you continue to your hotel in Arenal, located in the shadow of the volcano. That's what another thing that's really amazing about Costa Rica is this Arenal volcano. And then after settling in, you experience the magic resort before dinner at your hotel. So this, you're near the volcano. It's like magic. And you're in this tropical, amazing setting, right? Relax, kick back, day five, RNL excursion and La Fortuna. And that you're going to go close to the volcano. You'll be able to see it. You visit the RNL volcano, national park. You walk through it. Again, lots of walking, lava trails. Your guide will take you all around, find a way to recover from the past lava, how they recovered from the past lava when this was active. Because look at it, it's really beautiful, but you can see some of the dark areas um, back in the day. Next, you enjoy a walk tour for town. You go to La Fotina, and then you hang out there for a little while. You're offering stunning views of the active RNL volcano. This evening, drive to the nearby hot springs where you can dip into the hot springs. They say the hot springs really help you and help your body, makes you feel rejuvenated. So that's definitely something that I recommend 100%. And then you enjoy dinner at the hot springs too. So you're there all day. You have a good time here too as well. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. Day six. Look at this. Look at the little birdie. He looks so cute. I want to bring him home. Um, after breakfast, you continue to um, Monteverdi, where you will enjoy two days in the cloud forest. So you're going to see clouds. They have these hanging bridges. Um, the afternoon, you take a guided tour of the Skywalk Hanging Bridges. You can see them right here. Those are really cool. And um, the trails, um, the bridges through the canopy of the Monteverdi clouds, forest. Um, actually, it's like second to none. Definitely to search for Flora and Fortuna. Yeah, definitely. I think that bird's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Day seven. Now, this one's really interesting. Like I said, if you definitely are into something like this, this morning visit to Santa Clara Cloud Forest, and then you're doing a guided walking tour again. Lots of walking here. So you know what that means. Nice, comfortable shoes, over 600 species of butterflies. So if you're a person that's into butterflies, 400 species of birds, if you're into birds, reptiles, 120 manual species have been recorded. So you're going to see a lot of these different things. And look at look at the way that they have the bridge set up there. Looks interesting, right? It's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Later, you visit the family-owned sanctuary where you'll explore the trails of coffee and banana. Coffee. Costa Rican coffee is really famous. Banana plantations, of course, because they do a lot of banana in Costa Rica. And then after the, after you walk and see all of this, then you have a cooking class. That's fun, right? A little bit of cooking, a little bit of banana with some rum, maybe some different desserts and have a nice Costa Rican coffee. Um, and then your tour director will host a farewell dinner 
um, toasting an unforgettable discovery of Costa Rica. Costa Rica is amazing. It's if you have not been to this location, um, I definitely recommend that you go there because it's so different and so unique. And you want to go there before all these other people start to go there. The influencers. Now we don't want them there, right? <laughs> oh no, because that's when everything gets busy. And then the next day, Monteverdi. Then you're going to go en route to San Jose and you're going to visit Sachi Village. And Sachi Village is one of the centers of Costa Rica where they do a lot of the handcrafting. Look at that. Painting, handcrafting. So you have some souvenirs that maybe you want to take home and you can see um, the Costa Rican handcraft. You see the artists in their workshop making these famous ox carts yeah they actually make these ox carts i don't think you can bring that home but you know it's, it's really great artwork next you're in um grecia village and there they have this um this metal church that was sent from belgium to porto limon in 1897 the church was transported by ox carts, of course, to its present day location. So that's one of the things that you're going to see as well. So there's a lot to see and a lot to do and there's history and there's so many wildlife and a lot of eco-friendly things to see. And then your vacation ends with breakfast the next morning. <laughs> you're heading back to the airport, air-conditioned bus. <laughs> with a, an amazing yes it's air conditioned you have wi-fi like i was telling you and also it's just amazing absolutely yeah. they, they have all this information on your website right Chris? Uh, fun. you Andy. led me right into this so yes um, that's great. i did yeah. i pulled up my website really quickly i i went to startours.com and i looked at tours fly vacations and i found costa rica natural wonders um, so here you see the detailed overview and what the inclusions are. Here you see the day-by-day -day itinerary. It's and busy. here you see the accommodation details. Which right? are nice. So, yeah. This, yeah. so that you know where you're going to stay. Um, and this, you know, this will tell you the city that you're in. And then this will tell you the accommodation um, types that you'll be in. Because it, it's so far in advance, you know, we're, let's see, I don't know, 17 months out um, from this trip. So, you know, they don't have these set quite yet. Um, but these are the types of hotels they've stayed in before or they will stay in again. Then yeah, the again. Evergreen Lodge, that looks really cool. Um, <laughs> there's so many different things here that they are, they're offering, but they will, they'll get it together and have it situated. Yes. Yes. And while I'm here, actually, this um, I'll point out um, this useful links tab, um, because on all of these trips, you can purchase travel insurance. We don't sell tour protection for our cruise and fly trips. Um, we we recommend a company called Aon for travel insurance. And um, this this tab is on every every uh, tours page, all of our flying cruise tour pages. So um, you can click there to learn about uh, the travel insurance FAQs and to get quotes. And then also new um, with our new website is you can book cruise and fly trips right online. Um, you just adjust the number of passengers to, you know, how many you're looking for and um, you click book now and we'll, and we'll take care of that. Um, for you, actually, I think Chris will have to look. Chris and Sandy will have to look at this one because the number of passengers one is the same price as two, and that's typically not the case. Um, so in this case, the um, prices do include all taxes and fees. It's just that the flights um, have not yet been and added. Uh, right? Yeah. Um, are there any questions about this trip for Francina? Okay, if you think of them, um, please Just ask let, away. Yeah. Send them and, to Sandy or Chris or... <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, here, um, this yeah, is Chris you. and this is Sandy. Um, yeah. These are the people that you can ask your questions to. Um, and let's see. Um, any other questions in general about cruise or fly trips um, or, or these trips in particular? 
Uh, oh, they're amazing. The Avalon is the way to go to the Costa Rica. We had to put a little nature and exotic and, you know. These are these trips are probably three most different trips you can imagine. They are a river cruise, a trip yeah. to Paris, uh, and Chateau Country along with Normandy, and then Costa Rica. Right, so yeah, it was different. I was like, wait a minute, now this is really different. We're going we to like Paris. to give you choices. We like yes. to give you choices. Beautiful choices. Holland, like I said, the flowers, the. Exactly. When you see, there's this one area that you can go to where they have the Holland, where you can pop buy the tulips and and it's just amazing how That's they put awesome. it all together and they ship them out and I thought Holland was just incredible if you've never been it's definitely a must see and Costa Rica every one of these I I have I just can't wait to go back and, and <laughs> Laura can I go on this Costa Rica trip Sandy absolutely <laughs> <laughs> beautiful trip. um before we um finish up well first of all I would like to say thank you so much to Francina I really appreciate you being here. You're a wealth of knowledge about these three destinations and we're thrilled to be working with you at Globus Family of Brands and Avalon Waterway. So thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. And this was your debut view. We hope to see you again in the future. Um, yes. You are more than welcome to come back. Um, for um, all of our, our guests tonight, please join us on our next tour Tuesday, um, which is just in a couple of weeks, July 9th. Is that three weeks or is that two weeks? I don't know. Oh, I think it's two weeks. Um, we're going to be talking about Vermont and New Hampshire, Chautauqua and Jamestown, New York, Haunted Gettysburg, and the Hudson Valley, New York, Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. So we'll have two haunted Halloween theme trips to talk about. Uh, the Vermont and New Hampshire, uh, perfectly timed for the fall, and Chautauqua and Jamestown, which is home to I Love Lucy, um, and a place I visited last spring, and I know you'll love it. And um, our winner of our $25 uh, for Tuesday uh, gift card, actually, it's just $25 off any tour you would like, is Carol Gorski. So congratulations, Carol. Um, we will put that $25 in your account. And if you haven't traveled with us and you may not have an account, give us a call tomorrow and we'll get that all squared away. And I thank all of you so much for joining us tonight. Um, it's good to see so many of you here and, uh, thank you so much, uh, for joining us and for giving us your time. We'll be back. We hope, we hope that you found this helpful and, uh, we'll, we'll just keep working hard to plan trips for you. Thank Thanks you everyone. so much for coming and we'll see you on July 9th. Thank you. Thanks, Francina. Thanks, Thank Andy, you. Chris, Bye, everybody. That was great. Everybody. Fantastic. Thank great. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stay cool. <laughs> see you soon.